Welcome back everybody. My name is All Funny Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showcasing a cool item that probably gets a little bit put under the radar as most people kind of ignore it and or replace it with an umbrella. So let's just talk about what it is. Well, I'm talking about the raincoat. Why are raincoats not really looked over? Or sorry, why are they looked over? Because of the umbrella. If you don't know what an umbrella is, well then, if you've played through an entire year of Don't Starve Together, after killing the deer clops, you can make an umbrella with the eye. That's why you do not want to eat the eye. That's why people always yell at you and say, don't eat that eyeball. Not that you would, but if you did, I don't know. Anyways, if you for some odd reason are not able to make the umbrella, well, guess what? You have an easy alternative. Mm. Easy alternative? I don't know about easy, but easy-ish to make. Of course, all you need to do is get yourself an alchemy machine, I'm in creative mode, and you need to get two rope, which is very easy, six grass, and two bone shards, which is super simple. All you gotta do is basically smash up some skeletons if you're able to find them, or find a friend that might have died in the world, smash up their dead bodies, and then get yourself some tentacle spots. And that's where things are a little bit more complicated. Tentacle spots are of course, of course acquired in the swamps by killing said tentacles. Now, you can sometimes get lucky and find that merms and tentacles are attacking each other and just basically wait out the battle until a few of them are dead or go in there and attack them. So yes, if you find tentacle spots, keep them. Usually inside of a swamp, as things are eventually going to attack each other consistently, well, guess what? You're probably going to be in a position where you're probably going to find multiple of those just sitting on the ground. I'm going to give myself some souls as my Wartox is a little hungry. Okay, so... If for some odd reason you do find tentacle spots or you do locate them, I would I would suggest making yourself a raincoat, as it's an obvious alternative for making, you know, the umbrella. If you don't have it, or if you don't even have it yet, or maybe a friend in the server has it and is borrowing it and logged off the server, you can make yourself a raincoat, which is equivalent to basically an umbrella. Except the fact that, of course, it's basically worn on your chest rather than your head. So if you're used to wearing armor, I don't know which way you do it, but I usually like to wear some armor on my head versus on my body. So a raincoat is obviously an okay alternative. The only reason why an umbrella is a little bit better, at least for me, is because, of course, I can still wear a backpack while using it. Well, unfortunately, a raincoat will pretty much make my backpack go on the ground. So yeah. The same thing applies though if you are wearing your raincoat and you decide that you're about to get into a rainstorm, well you're going to be pretty much okay. It won't control how you freeze of course, but if depending on the weather you should be somewhat fine. And of course if you take the raincoat off and you know rain starts to fall, well guess what you're going to start to get wet. So just remember to have your raincoat on if it's getting a little bit wet outside and you should be pretty much okay. It won't keep you as insulated, um, you know, it does give you a little bit of insulation during the winter, but it's nothing like summertime freshness with the umbrella. So overall, the umbrella is still a lot better, but it's a lot more expensive to make the umbrella, so it's the cheaper alternative, which is the raincoat. And yes, it can be accompanied by some other ingredients to make it even stronger, but I think the raincoat is pretty strong as it is on its own. So go out there and make it, enjoy, and thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.